Hi everyone, I am Katie, the Crafty Vlog Stalker, and today I am going to show you how to make a super cute handmade journal using the Cricut Maker, the new Foil Quill by We Are Memory Makers, and the Zutter Bind It All. I'm also going to be featuring some print and cut journal stickers that I have recently made as well. So today's tutorial is going to be so much fun. If you learned anything today, make sure to give the, vid the video a big thumbs up. All right, let's get started. Now before we get started, I just want to show you my foil quill uh, by We Are Memory Keepers. This is how mine came. I purchased mine from Home Shopping Network. So it didn't have the cute packaging, it just came in a box, which is okay, you just throw the cute packaging away. So this is everything that it comes with. We have all of our different adapters for the different machines. And these are our pens. There are three different widths of pens. They're super fine, fine, and like a bold. And then we've got our low tacky tape as well as like a little protector while the quill is heating up. We've got our instructions, because of course we want to follow the instructions so we know what we're doing. And then this is our foil in here. Until I haven't opened it yet. Oh. And these are our little rolls of foil. So we've got a silver, a gold, and like a rose gold or a copper. So that is everything that comes in the kit. Now I'm gonna be using this with my Cricut Maker. So let's go ahead and pull the Cricut Maker in so I can show you how to get it ready to go. So here is my Cricut Maker. So let's just open this up. And I'm going to show you how to install your foil quill. Now I am going to be using the standard foil quill. Now remember there's three sizes, a fine, a standard, and a bold. This is the standard. So I'm going to take my little C uh, addition there and it just twists right onto the quill. So it's super duper easy. And of course, there's four different attachments. So depending on what machine, you will add that attachment. I love that C is for Cricut. It makes it super easy to remember. Now here's kind of the tricky part. We're going to be putting the quill here into the um, this A attachment right here. This is where you normally put pens and you draw with. But there's a little plastic piece right here and we have to take that out to be able to put the quill in. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of reach under, I'm gonna carefully push it up from the bottom and I'm gonna pull from the top. And it's gonna feel like it's not supposed to come out, but it does. Okay, so there is that piece. Now of course we wanna keep this piece safe uh, so we're just going to put it right over here and I'm going to put it back in my, sh in my machine once I am done with my foil quill. So now I'm going to insert that in as far as it will go and close that clamp. Okay, and then even if I give it a good little tug, it's in there tight. Now we get to plug it in. Let me get off this little extension. Now, with the Cricut machine, there is a USB port over here on the side, but Cricut uh, voids your warranty if you plug this directly into your machine. Now, the Cricut warranty only lasts a year, so if you've had your machine for over a year, they're not going to replace it anyways, but I am still going to play it safe. I am not going to put it into my machine. I've got a little cube here that I'm gonna plug it into, and then I'm gonna plug this into a cord that I have right here. Now, you want to make sure that you still have enough cord for this to be sliding back and forth. So the outlet, if you do it that way, it needs to be really close to the machine. Now you'll see right here that this little light came on and that means that it is warming up. 
So that means that I need to get my little metal plate here because I want to put the metal plate underneath that quill so that the heat from the metal quill won't damage my machine at all. So I'm just gonna slide that right in and there's even a little um, like lip in there and that just slides right over that bar. And we're gonna get that right underneath the blade. Now we're gonna let this heat up for five minutes and uh, while this is heating up, I'm going to prep my chipboard because that's what I'm gonna be putting the foil on and then cutting in my Cricut Maker. Here is my chipboard and my foil and my low tacky tape. Uh, I've already put on my chipboard onto my uh, super strong grip mat here. And so now I just need to put on my foil. So remember, I am making a, a journal. And so this is going to be foiling the cover of my journal. And then we will be putting everything together once all of the pieces are cut out. So I've got my foil where I want it and I'm gonna grab some tape here because once it starts foiling, you don't want the foil to move around. I'm gonna peel that off. I wanna make sure that it's as long as it needs to be. I know exactly where to place the foil because I can look in Cricut Design Space right before it's getting ready to cut where that um, text is. Pull that and I want to pull this as smooth as possible and pull that nice and tight. And then I'm going to put tape along the sides as well. This is really just washi tape. So if you run out of the low tacky tape, you could use washi tape just fine. So again, we're gonna pull that nice and tight and then do one more edge. Now the Cricut Maker, it draws before it cuts. So it's going to do the foiling first and then it will cut that chipboard, which reminds me we need to put in the knife blade. Okay. So there is our chipboard mat. And now I'm gonna open this and I am going to get out that knife blade. I'm gonna take out the standard blade that is in there. Just pops right out. And then there is our knife blade. Okay. So now we are ready to go. Our quill has been heating. It has hit its minimum of five minutes. So I am going to take out the little metal plate underneath. Now I've already moved all of these little star wheels over here. Uh, since I am cutting chipboard, all of those stars, uh, circle stars need to be over, pushed to the side of the machine. So all that I have left is to load my mat. You can see my little light right here is blinking. It's saying I am ready to go. So I am going to hit that. It's going to load my mat. And then I'm going to hit the blinking C because it is ready to draw uh, on my journal cover. This is exciting, there it goes. Yay, my journal cover says, just in case no one told you today, hello, good morning, you're doing great, I believe in you, a nice butt. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Okay, now it's done. 
So it is going over to calibrate the knife blade so that then it will cut on the chipboard. And it's going to take several passes for it to cut the chipboard. And in fact, I might just... Oh, look at how cool! I'm going to pause it again. It'll let me pause. I'm going to take that. Oh, the foil looks awesome! Okay, and we're just going to scoot that out. Oh, that looks so cool! Hopefully you guys can see that. That looks amazing. And now we are going to keep cutting. So it'll cut out that chipboard. Okay, so now we're done cutting. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out my mat. And I'm done using my quill, so I'm gonna unplug that so it cools down as well. So now um, I'm done with my Cricut cutting machine, so I'm gonna put this to the side. And let's look at our chipboard cover. So I'm just gonna remove that from the purple mat, that strong grip mat, and it falls right out. Hopefully you can kind of see that shimmer from the foil. Okay, so I'm done with my cover. Now for the back of my journal, I am just going to cut that rectangle using my true control knife, my cutting ruler, my self-healing mat, and another piece of that Cricut chipboard. Now, if I wanted to, I could cut this out using my Cricut Maker again, but since it's just a simple rectangle, I'm just gonna use these tools. It'll go by a little bit quicker. Now, the reason I had the Maker cut the first, the cover out, is because I wanted that saying centered perfectly on that piece that I was cutting, and so it was easier just to design it all in Cricut Design Space and let my maker take care of it. Now I'm going to cut my, my back. I want the height to be seven and three quarters inches. So what I'm going to do is align this sheet of chipboard along the guidelines here on my self-healing self mat. get my true control knife ready to go. And I'm going to go to seven and three quarters. Now, since I'm not all the way to the edge, I'm gonna count it out, but I'm doing it in the middle so that you can hopefully see it a little bit better. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three quarters. So now what I'm gonna do is line up my ruler along the three quarters line underneath and above. And it's really nice because it goes in, those little marks are plus signs. So I can make sure that my ruler is right in the center of those plus signs. Okay, and now I'm just going to cut with my true control knife against that cutting ruler and just take a couple passes until that chipboard is cut all the way through. That's three, four, and you can kind of feel when it gets, starts getting through. There we go, I felt it. Yep, so we are through. So I've got my seven and three quarters here, and now I'm gonna turn it And we are going 5.625, which is going to be between the half and the three quarters. So again, we're going to count this out. One, two, three, four, five. There's my half and my three quarters. Actually, since this does not have a 0.625 guide, what I'm going to do, just to make sure that it is perfectly even with the cover, so I'm just gonna bring my cover in. Okay, and we're gonna put it right on top, like so. And 
then I'm going to line up using the edge of the cover. So that will work since there isn't that exact measurement line and I want it to match that cover. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. Just run it over with our control knife. I think it took like nine times last time, nine or 10. Oh, I felt it go through. There we go. Okay, so now we have the cover and the back cover to the journal. So now I'm going to bring in my Zetter Bind It All so that we can assemble the book. So here is my Zetter Bind It All. This is the tool that I'm going to use to punch all of the holes inside my paper as well as bind the book. So we are going to start uh, just with punching the holes. And the bind it all, the Zetter bind it all, will tell you like exactly how many holes you need to cut for what size. So it's really, really nice. So we're gonna start with C right there. And I've just got a stack of maybe like 10 or 15 pieces. In fact, that might be too much. Let's go a little bit less, just until we know for sure how many it can cut. We're gonna push it all the way towards that and then you just pull the handle down. Okay, and then you can see that there's holes. Now for this one, we are going to do, um, I think there's 11, 13 holes in this one. So then we move this little lever right here to B. And we count in five holes, one, two, three, four, five. And there's this little piece right here that we can slip that fifth hole right onto. So then we know that all of our holes are perfectly spaced like they should be. Okay, and then we're gonna do again. Pull that off. And then we go six hole in. So we basically just need one more hole. Make sure it stays there on B. Okay, make sure everything's pushed down in there. And there we have all of our holes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this with all of the paper that you see there. So now I have all of my pieces cut. I have my sticker sheets that I did the print and cut on the Cricut Maker. And then I have my fun foiled cover and back to my journal and then some paper that, and I have already pre-punched all of them using my Zetter Bind It All. And so now all that I really have left to do is to assemble. Oh, and I need my wire. I totally forgot about my wire. So now all that's left is to assemble my journal. Now for starters, I'm going to grab my wire. Now this is the inch uh, thick uh, binding wire and I have 13 holes so I want to count 13 of these little spokes right here and then cut it off using my uh, wire cutters and I'm just gonna make sure so I don't mess up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay I do have a 13 holes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so then I'm gonna come over here across with my little wire cutters and I am going to cut that off okay so there is the binding that I'm going to use. Now, of course, I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm just gonna put it in with all of my other uh, Zetter supplies. And what I need to do first is to just kind of build my book. So I've got my front cover. My stickers are going to go in the back of my book. 
And then my back cover here. I'm actually gonna move this for just a sec. Okay, so this is how my book is going to be assembled. To bind it on the wire, I'm going to take this back cover and just, so it'd be like that, and I'm just going to flip it over. So I'm gonna have the two covers together. And then I'm going to start putting it on my wire. Now this is kind of big to be feeding this all at once. So I'm just gonna take sections and just put that onto my wire. Okay, so now we've got it all on the binding wire. So I'm going to bring in my zutter, and I'm gonna be doing this backwards so hopefully you can see it a little bit better. With the zutter comes these little sizing guides for wires. Now I am using the inch right there. So to size it, I'm going to stick it right in here and then there's this little screwy knob that I can push it in or pull it out. And I want this to be able to fit snug in there, but I also want to be able to pull it in and out. Right now it's kind of a little too snug, so I need to loosen that. So it's in there snug, but can also come out just like that. Okay, so there is my correct spacing. And I'm going to Pull that wiring almost so my little my journal here has legs do you see that now I'm not going to be able to do this all at once so I'm going to have to do it in sections but what I'm going to do is set that wire in there so it's standing on its legs and pull this down and that's going to squeeze those wires together but I'm just going to do it in sections and I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. So I'm just gonna push those together a little bit, push it down, push those together a little bit, and just do a little bit at a time until it is completely closed. So then I'm gonna push it together a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, now this time we're close, you can see, but we're not quite all the way there. So this time I am going to push that handle all the way down. And make sure that I have the whole book. And there you can see now my wires are together. So my book is bound. So I take my back cover and I flip it around and there is my super cute journal. You guys, I am so excited about this journal. I've got lots of pages that I can fill in and write and then I have all of my stickers here that I have made um, with the print and cut. And so I've got journaling prompts and just fun little stickers so that I can journal and just kind of keep track of my, my life in a fun way. Isn't that so cute? I really am so excited with how this journal turned out. I love the foil on the cover that just catches that light so well, as well as all of these pages that I have for journaling and my print and cut stickers that I made as well in my Cricut Maker. I'm so excited to start journaling, taking this with me, so even when I have those couple minutes while I'm waiting in the car, I can jot some fun things down. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'd love for you to follow me on YouTube so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. 
If you aren't watching this on YouTube, that means you're probably on my blog, thecraftyblogstalker.com, and go ahead and pin this tutorial. That way it'll save it to your favorite Pinterest board so you never lose it. You can always go back to it, as well as show your friends all of the fun and crafty things that we're up to. So thanks again so much. I hope you all have a wonderful, creative day. Bye.